there, and it's wet as well. What are the uses you could use these for? Well, it falls on the chair. Yes, look, impressions of Mickey Mouse being up to too. Uh, head banging cushion. But we are going to give one of these away for our postcard to Lee Town. Chrome. Where's, where's Chrome? Oh, he's disappeared. Oh, what a shame. Back the radio. Oh, Go for it. Sound. Here it comes. <laughs> that's the one that's baffled you all morning. Uh -huh. Since nine o'clock this morning, oh, and it's now four minutes past twelve, you've now got it. No. But if you think you know what it is, answer's on a postcard, yeah? Do Silly Sound, Saturday, Superstore, BBC Television, London, West 12, 8 QT, and you can win one of these wonderful frisbees. <laughs> is that it, Kim? <laughs> it certainly is. <laughs> and right now, let's go upstairs. Look gentleman himself, Mr. Michael Reed. Thanks very much, Keith. You never know it's going to turn up next. Sorry, I just stole a piece of chocolate on the way over here. Right, calls to Bob on 018118055, and also a great bargain sitting here in the bag. As well as the book and the, um, the bits and pieces you've got out and the new record, is there any other direction you're going to sort of take off in writing wise or film wise or anything? Have you got um, any ideas? I just want to um, really concentrate on getting back into music. And um, I mean, this the world calling is out at a time when everybody puts out records spanned out Duran's, Prince, Bowie, Eurythmics, everyone. And I thought that was the best time to come out so that if it is a hit, if it goes top 30 next week, then it will be a genuine mm. hit. And it, I begin to build up again people who know me from music. I mean, a lot of people here don't remember me from music. And so I, I want to do that because that's the thing I love most. And I think the album will do well. And then I'll tour again. And then maybe when I get bored doing that, I'll do something else. Great. Same, same line-up with the Rats as well. Uh, no, I'm not going to tour be. with the Rats. I'm going to do... Um, have uh, a band of people who are great players but pretty well unknown. Mm -hmm. And with the Rats thing, um, Simon and Johnny are probably going to do something on their own as soon as they get a deal. And then, like, perhaps in a couple of years when we've got all that stuff out of our system, then we can go back. The last time we played together was at my wedding. So. Right. Okay, and there's been actually been a, a great colour supplement out about a week ago. I know. A whole colour supplement well, you about see, your wedding. That's right, because like everyone kept saying, "Oh, give us pictures." Like the press were saying, "Give us pictures." Like people, were, 170 people were at the wedding, and said, mm. "Can we have a set of pictures?" So he said, "Go on, start off. You know, it'll cost a bloody fortune." So the uh, Sunday magazine put out all the pictures in the magazine. So now we can just give out the magazine. And to there was one lurking around here just yeah, now. Actually, actually, so well, good been... pictures, though. Yeah. Well, it's great to have a good documentary of your wedding in magazine form. It is, it's great, yeah, Super. one off, yeah. definitely, you know. Smashing. Okay, let's take some calls. We should have Carrie O'Sullivan on here. Morning, Carrie. Hello. Hello, you through to Bob. Hello, Bob. Do you oh. like being called Sir Bob Gildos best or Bob Gildos? I like people to fall flat on their face as I walk by, you know, in deep, deep, meaningful homage. Um, no, it, it doesn't bother me at all. I was in Norway. Um, the day before yesterday, and they were Sir Bobbing like crazy. Um, you know, you come in and the journalists all say Sir Bob this and the other, and you think it's a bit of a wind up, you know. <laughs> You're not sure if they're like winding you up. And then in Germany, they take it very seriously on the continent, much more than here. I think they quite enjoy it, you know. But the only difference it's made to me, Carrie, is that I can get into restaurants with my jeans on. I got a photograph of you because I saw your wax figure in Madame Tussauds. Oh, yeah, what, what did you think? Pardon? Did you think it looks good? Yes, and my granddad liked it too. Did he? Well, I gave them all the clothes that I wear, you know, so um, I've had to go out and buy a new jacket and that. But uh, And uh, my baseball boots that my dog chewed up, so they, they have all those. It's not a bad one. Um, I, I stood beside it when they unveiled it, and, and uh, it looks quite good. My granddad's Irish. Is he? Yes. You've got an Irish name, haven't you? Yes. Oh, well, give him my best. Thanks very much for your call, and we'll move on to Claire Stewart. Hello, Claire. Hello, Claire. Hello. Good morning, it's really Bob. Hello, Bob. Hi, Claire. I want to know, what's the naughtiest thing you've ever done? What's the? Naughtiest. Oh, um, I think that might be too rude to answer. Read, um, the, read the book, it's probably... Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Paul. <laughs> read um, the book the I've got the naughtiest thing I've ever done. Um, when I was a child, um, the naughtiest thing was... I used to walk backwards, uh, upside down, for about a year. And I used to walk around like a crab. You know if you put your hands and your feet on the ground and walk around like that? Yeah. Well, I used to do it backwards with my hands over my head and crawl around like that. And I used to go up and down the stairs of the bus into school. And uh, I used to, you know, I'd come home and my father would tell me to get the coal for the fire. And uh, I used to put the coal bucket on my chest. 
and go down the stairs backwards. And it used to really irritate them. And I did it for about a year, so they became, they decided the best thing to do was ignore it. And uh, that was when I was a kid. When I was a teenager, obviously, it was something else which we shouldn't talk about on, <laughs> on Superstore. And then when I got into a band, it was even other things. So, um, again, we shouldn't talk about it on Superstore. So we'll stick with the coal scuttle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the question. Okay, right, we move on to Keely Barber. Hello, Keely. Hello. Hello, you're through to Bob. Um, would you ever foster any um, child that you've helped? Sorry, would, would you I ever foster any child? Would you ever foster any child that you've helped? Um, not really, because I think that if they're children in Africa, that's where they um, should be brought up with their mums and dads if they're still alive. And um, if they're not still alive, you see, it's not like here where we have a mum and dad and two children and an uncle and auntie. Over there, um, everybody looks after the family, even if you don't know, like your 90th cousin. They have to look after you. It's called the extended family system. We have a nuclear family system here. And so the kids are sort of better looked after where they're born and where they can grow up and be with their mates and their family. And I, I think that's better for them. So it's also difficult to take them out of one environment and suddenly dip well, them in another Well, that's what I mean. You know, yeah. I mean, don't forget that these little children and that, um, they're African children and, and they don't know anything about England and they, they wouldn't want to know anything about England, even though they probably grow up to have a better life. Um, not according to them. They prefer to be with their mates. I mean, imagine if you uh, were adopted by somebody and had to go to Africa, for example. It would be very unsettling for you. Well, it's the same sort of thing. Okay, thanks for your call, and hopefully you've got time for some more calls in a moment. But you've brought a, an enormous-looking bargain here. Well, I'll hold this one up. Yeah. Sorry, oh, and so, Bob, down on your <laughs> knees, everybody. <laughs> down on your knees. Um, I brought that, and this is um, uh, the LP, and this is the original artwork and stuff. We've got all that here, all the, all the uh, 6 inches and 12 inch and the inner bags and all the original artwork which we're going right. to frame and sign and um, you can have all that stuff. Um, I've got to put the question right. Right. Okay, well the single is, um, this is The World Calling. Now it's produced by the Brothers of Doom, if you read it on your label, you'll see that. Now the Brothers of Doom are me and another member of a very famous chart-topping band. So um, I've talked about this other chap already on Superstore, and you may have read about him in one of the magazines. So if you can remember who that was, the other brother of doom. The other brother of doom. Then you get, <laughs> then you get the goodies. Write his name <laughs> on a postcard and send it to Saturday Superstore, BBC Television, London, W12, HQT. The other brother of doom, along with Bob, as he says, he's mentioned it before. And all these goodies could be yours. Find their way into your bedroom wall. I think we've got time for a couple more calls. Here. Okay, good. We should have Jane Swindles on the line. Morning, Jane. Hello, Jane. You through to Bob? Hello, Bob. What uh, would you be doing if you weren't on the show this minute? Um, I tell you, a friend of mine is um, a vicar, and he's been uh, invested into his new parish, or whatever they call it, I don't know. So he's changed parishes, and he wants me to go down and, and wish him luck. And that's happening down in Margate, so I'd have gone down earlier if this wasn't on. What's uh, his name? We better mention him. It's Michael Anderson. Right. And uh, so I'm, I'll, I'll probably go off down there now in, in, uh, as soon as the show's over. But I've got to hurry because else it'll be over. Or, or else, alternatively, I'll be lying in bed watching the show from my bed. <laughs> it would be one or the other. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye then. Bye. Right. Very that's all the calls we have time for. Well, thanks a lot for coming on. Thanks, Mike. Okay, we'll be back to say goodbye in a moment. Right now, it's time for Sarah and Vicky. <laughs> and everybody else over here in our coffee shop. We're all over here. Before I tell you about what's happening next week on Superstore, if you want a fact sheet on shyness, Philip Hodson, our admin uncle, has prepared one. And if you send us a stamp dressed envelope, we will send you a fact sheet on shyness. Write to us, Saturday Superstore, BBC TV, London, W12, 8QT. Next week, we have Sue Pollard and Paul Shane from Heidi Hyde, Patrick Moore, and Doctor of the Medics. <laughs> and I'm off to the Lord Mayor Show. We've got our very own floats, in fact, to the Lord Mayor Show to play roller skates, and I'll be wearing them. And loads of other celebrities will be there, Michael. Right, I'll see you out at Kingston this afternoon. <laughs> Who said we have no heavy metal on here? Here's Bon Jovi. Hey! Hey!